Good morning, guys, and welcome to today. Today's video is sponsored by Posey Pig, who's getting ready to go outside for a pee. Uh, so I told you guys yesterday that Posey is running off, and it's really hard for me to keep her safe because I can't chase her. She's fast. So today we are breaking out the new halter harness, whatever you call it, and uh, we are going to see how it goes. She says, "Let me out." <laughs> Let's just say, hey, Posey Pig does not like a leash. <laughs> it still might be a bit big for her. You guys would not have believed what just happened putting this on her. She screamed louder than anything ever. I just need to, I know, I just need to be able to catch her. I want her to have a life. Oh, man, that was wild. It is cold. Sophie's got her winter coat on. All right, she's peeing and then she's gonna run right for the chicken coop. Oh, it's okay. Jeez. We need to go, I'll sh I should go get some treats for them. She's mad at me. <laughs> she thinks, she think I was hurt, she thinks I was hurting her. The truth was, I was just trying to make you safe. Anyway, the new harnesses that Sam bought, he bought two really gorgeous harnesses. They don't fit, or she just slips right out of them. He's all dirty. <laughs> so I tell them. How chill he is. Tell them an update about your 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 duck. He's chill. He's a really really sweet. So he is so smart. Oh, there he is. He's like, I miss my bath. He can come out of the chicken coop during the day and go in that pool. You should put a ramp up there for him. He can get in and out. He's done it multiple times. Oh, he can get in and out? I'm just watching my pig <laughs> to make sure that I can catch her before she runs off. Don't you dare go there. <laughs> she knows though, you see? Like, she, she knows I'm not gonna let her go in the chicken coop. Now she knows I'm not gonna let her go to the barn. Sorry. <laughs> She's in the terrible twos, people. I know, but you go, sometimes kids go through the terrible twos before they get to two, and pigs age, My animals age gone. faster. See? <laughs> we can go where you want, but you're not running off. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you're not going to the barn. We're not going in there. Nope, it's not gonna happen. She's like, fine, I'll go to the poop pile. There's food there. <laughs> oh, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> we just started today. You found a worm? Yeah, get I don't it. want to get it because I don't want to touch that. Wow. It's in a puddle. She's actually doing better than ever on the leash. Before, she was awful on it. I like it. Chicken. Oh, you got it. Now she was trying to go down to the goats. <laughs> Because the goats will give her food. No, nope, we're not doing it. Oh my God. Oh. If the yard was fenced in and the chicken coop closed all the time, it wouldn't be a big deal, but sh she can't be eating food that's not meant for her. Don't go near my duck. All right, so basically she's walking me and I'm okay with that. Where do you think we're going? <laughs> nope. We're not going in there. Your duck needs new fresh water and food. We love these silkies. You guys remember Biscuit? Sophie has had her for how long? Has it been three years or two years? I feel like three years. But probably two years. All right, we've settled with rubbing ourselves on here. Maybe it'd be easier if I set up like a, a pen that she could go in when she has to go to the bathroom and then on days when I, we go down to the barn and we spend a lot of time down there, I can just take her down there. My bird rock left she, that nesting box and now there's another one in there. She's really heavy to carry and manage. So, all right, do you wanna hold her while I go get water? Just get it from the... Thingy. This chicken, help! <laughs> yeah, I almost died. But she's pretty. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. I think I can set up an area. <laughs> Chickens are all getting decapitated. I have a little area I can set up. 
just for peeing. And then on days where it's nice, which is gonna get nice soon, I can just put her, take her down to the barn with me and I can even use this. This leash definitely works a lot better. Here, come back and I'll help you. Look at that boy. I know I showed him to you yesterday, but he is so gorgeous. Wait and see if he fluffs himself up. When he fluffs himself up, like, he is, he is so cute. If I was a chicken, that would be why I was choose. <laughs> She's so mad. She can't get past me. Oh, but finally, we have a little bit better control to keep her safe. She's not overly happy about it, but at least this is not very big, and she's used to it. Like it's just really skinny. I should, you left my duck out. I should make these and market them. Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. Our house literally is like a zoo. Hi, Toad. <laughs> hey, Toad. He probably wants me to move. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the silky is bigger than the duck and we're still getting more ducks. I got a message the other day saying like, go slow, don't don't just be filling up your farm so fast. And yeah, I agree. Like I have some very clear limits. Literally, I just want a cow. <laughs> no, I really do want a cow, Sam and I both want a cow, but it's not the he time yet. Wants us to get a cow too. Yeah, it's not time yet, but one day there will be a cow or two cows on this property and they will be amazing. I can't wait. We have very specific <laughs> next to the rooster. things that we want. So, um we are going to be getting a horse and we're going to be adding some more fowl. Not a lot of fowl. We already have enough chickens. In fact, Sophie sold a couple of chickens. We're getting more guineas. Um, Sophie's going to hatch some eggs. I'm going to hatch some turkey eggs. I found some turkey eggs. I'm going to hatch those. I'm really excited about that. Did you guys know that turkeys are like one of the most friendly of all the fowl? They bond really, really nicely, like really closely. And I'm really excited about that. I bought another baby goat today. <laughs> So I told you guys at the beginning I was going to buy two goats. I wanted one that was, I we're switching over to registered goats. I love that chicken right there, that black and red one. And it is a huge process. Sophie's throwing treats for the chickens and they're all coming. Look how many black chickens we have though. But look how small he is. But they lay really nice eggs. That's why I like them. But anyways, so um, I wanted to buy two registered goats this year, does, and I did. So I just bought another one. She's only a couple of weeks old, so we won't get her until June. And then I bought a little boy. So I now have two registered does and a registered buck. She gets so mad, she starts yelling. Yeah, she's not happy about this, but she's not freaking out. She freaked out about the other thing. This one, she doesn't mind so much. So anyways, and that's it, like one horse, Three goats. Um, we're gonna get another du duck. We're gonna get a couple of probably call ducks because we love them. And you guys are saying that the girls are really noisy. I love noisy animals. Less than pigs, a little. Not less pigs though, because pigs are like insane. Yeah, he's loving his life out here with the chickens. He knows when he has to go to bed. So yeah, so tell them tell them that story about the duck. She leaves him out here in the coop all day and he like kind of roams around outside. The chickens can all get away from him if they need to. And when it's nighttime and it starts getting dark. All the other chickens go into bed and what does he do? He stands at the door and looks at the house. Yeah, he comes right outside this chicken door and he, can, he usually stays inside the coop. He comes right outside this chicken door, stares at the house and waits for Sophie to come out and get him because he goes in at night. I think he likes that. Do you think and, he likes yeah. that? Yeah. And then in the morning, I see him and he quacks at me. I'm as, like, okay, I'm Yeah. As soon as he sees her, he quacks. He's so quiet, but as soon as he sees her, he quacks. And that means he wants to go outside. He's actually so super adorable. <laughs> I like chickens like this. Like the Yeah, Sophie likes him. Her. She's an Easter egger. Hi, baby. So this one really likes me. She's always come up to me. She was a house chicken. Yep, she was a house chicken for a while. So she wasn't doing, like, way back when it was winter still and she was, like, a baby baby. She, she looked a little 
week in the coop one day so I brought her in and kept her in for a week and then she's doing awesome and she never grew really big she's really tiny today I'm gonna update you guys on our kitten remember we got that kitten way back in October well I'm gonna show you her because she's a bit shocking look at the tail. yeah that's a rooster so we thought we got rid of all of our roosters but now we are noticing that there are two more that we need to get rid of look they're trying to get girls they <laughs> watch them <laughs> don't take notes because they're not very good he likes that one that little oh see now he switches to this one watch he's gonna he's sneaking he think oh no he doesn't like her watch watch oh, <laughs> and they run they're talking to each other oh see that one got too close i wouldn't get so close she's essentially caught between two roosters i've never seen my duck get that far from the coop yeah I love the duck. The duck is really fun. And in the winter, we'll have a setup in this barn that we can fit him and his lady. Uh oh, he's going for it again. Just because I got to leave him. <laughs> yeah, they're like, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, our last rooster was not enough rooster for all the hens that we had because a lot of our eggs weren't fertilized. Maybe he was just a dud. I don't know. But these ones seem to be like too much for them. They're all really interested in the pig. And actually, they love the pig. Like, pigs have such good <laughs> vibes. Honestly, I love when they all stay back here. It's just so, like, I could just sit here for all day and just watch them. All the babies do back here. The all the babies stay here. All of our older chickens, we have like eight of them, they all go to the front. They all get away from all the crazy craziness that happens so now she is doing so good on the leash and it's because this is where she wants to go she's so excited i have a headache already i want to see i actually want to see how she gets into the other field she's free she can hang down here hi winston can you grab me that rope He's doing so good with no milk. I don't know how she gets into this other field. She gets into this field. She's a, goat. She's a pig. She goes under stuff. She's short and how could, Where could she go under? Sophie and Sam went to pick up something yeah. really cool for the ducks. I'm going to show you guys as soon as I've done oh, this. Hi. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. I have no treats. I wish I did. He likes what we did yesterday. Wow, he's gotten really friendly. And she jumped on me this time. She, what do you say for baby? She actually has a little over two weeks left. I know it's you. I, oh, I definitely think she's got one baby in there. One buckling. That's what I think. One buckling. Okay, you guys are getting my legs all poopy. Yeah, don't get our legs all poopy. Jump on uh, this goat, I am falling in love with. Sylvia and I were talking about today, like, who would we get rid of? And she said we would never get rid of her. And the reason is. I'm giving Mocha and Lola too. This goat gives me so much milk. I have so much milk, you guys. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. Look there, she's doing it. Don't look, don't look. Pretend you don't see. She's trying to push through that fence. Why do you want my She wants in here because there's always grain on the ground. She can do it when no, Winston can't. He's too big. Oh, she didn't do it. She's still trying. Every single day that she runs free, she gets in here, though. I do. Sophie's going to do uh, clean the stalls. Yeah, and then I'm going to clean up this stuff. Oh, hi, Cricket. Oh, she's just so cute. All right, so Sophie, I bought Sophie's show goat today. I'm letting my friend name her, though. She's letting her friend name her, her friend Phoebe name her. And she is really cute. Sophie doesn't think she's that cute, but she says she's cuter than... I told than... you I wanted a spotted baby. No. She has spots. A fully spotted baby. I know, but there's still time. <laughs> Look, you can't poop him. I know, he's another Winston. This little white one is Just another Winston. He just, he's okay, such a Winston, love. Winston's out of his eating phase. So uh, there's my wagon. I just filled up. Sam's going to have to come and dump it. I might come back down and fill it up again, but my back needs a rest. Or and Penny are at the hay bale. See, they are. I know. They can handle each other, except for when she gets in a bad mood. The pig got away. As soon as we turned away, she was up. She go, runs through the, the horse field. She knows enough to stay away from the horses. Just scavenging. Doesn't even realize we're here. Listen, <laughs> you. Oh, 
But at least I can catch her now as long as she has this thing on. Come on. I don't know what you're eating, but let's go. Okay, so this is what Sam and Sophie got today. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, it's a brooder. It's a uh, chicken coop now. It's a chicken thing. So basically, it plugs in. You put uh, just a regular light bulb in there because this thing is insulated. Open the lid. Because it's insulated, it keeps it so nice and warm in there. So you just need just a regular uh, light bulb and it's all contained and protected. It has a carpet, which I don't know about that. Yeah, we're taking that out. Um, if we close up this, it would be a nesting box. So what is that? It's an opening to go in there. From oh, wow. It's, so it's an old freezer that somebody converted and insulated. Your getting out, your pig's getting out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, I love it. So this, he got, they got it off Marketplace. And he's like, should we get it? And I'm like, I don't know. Do what you want, because that's what I always say to him. It is freaking adorable, though. Like, absolutely adorable. I love it. We have a bunch of chicks and stuff coming soon. So, like baby ducklings and stuff. So, and turkeys. I love it. Absolutely love it. Sam had somebody come and clean the eaves trough today. <laughs> so there's big piles for me to rake up. And the guy came and said it's a go for the arena. So I don't know when they booked it for, but it's gonna get, we're gonna have an arena. See it? I don't see it. No. We lost the, we lost the duck. We're, they're like, they've come to give us treats. That's amazing when your chickens just run right up to you though. They all do, even though the dog is there. I can't believe the chickens come out in the water, in the rain. Is he in here? Uh-oh. I told you. I've been looking out the window watching for her duck. Oh, there he is. He sees us now. He's like, what are you guys worried about? I'm just sitting right here. Look at all the chickens. I told you he was a good duck. I know. It scares me, though. Like, my heart was in my my... <laughs> my heart was in my feet. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. He's adorable. I love him too. I do not know how we did not know about this. Hi. About call ducks. I mean, I knew about them. I just didn't understand how amazing they are. Silkies are laying then. Do you think yes. two silkies? Yeah. Because the little lady was laying over here. Oh, yeah. So what? So all our little chickens are starting to lay. I can tell Blossom is starting to get filled up with milk because she's down there hollering. And I know that means that she's getting sore. <laughs> I know! Have you ever like loved something so much? And then it just like, I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. Like today I was sitting on the couch and the pig was beside me and Ellie was beside her and we were all snuggled up. And it was just so much love and so much happiness. He's not a fan of the dog. He's not a fan of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's still scared of me, but he knows that I have to Yeah, he him. gets it now. I love him. Like, he is just the sweetest little thing. Like, I like him even better than the Pekin duck. He he's just out him. here living his life, living his best life. It's like hours and hours later, and this guy's still trying. Don't you know that you're beautiful?